Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Austin Linney with your Friday rant. What I'm going to talk today about is health, uh, taking over a new business, and uh, what I learned in the first 45 days of running a company uh, with 30 plus employees. Um, The stress can get to you, right? You're taking on many new energies, many new personalities, uh, a new business. There's 150 things to do. And you're uh, waking up in cold sweats, and you're 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 excited, but you're nervous, and all these different emotions, and you move across the country, and you're not in your house yet, and you know I could go on and on, right? And I found myself um, making excuses to cut my workout short. I found myself excuses to uh, maybe not eat the best food sometimes, and uh, I didn't realize how much um, those little. Uh, cheats those those couple minutes less those is really not me taking time for myself it's it's really not me uh taking the shortcut and uh it really started to weigh on me which then escalated my stress up which then made me on edge and it doesn't take much to bring you off of your game and what you have to realize as an entrepreneur or a business person or just anybody in general you those little moments, those time that you take for yourself, the, the boundaries you're creating, the time to read books, the time, all those little things add up to you investing in yourself, which then allows you to perform at your best at your job or for your company or for your employees. And we so, so much sometimes we give ourselves a reason to not put ourselves first. We give ourselves the reason to shortcut the workout. We give ourselves the reasons to be so hungry or not plan ahead that we eat something bad. And it's not that one time you do it, but then you do it again and you make excuses and so on and so on. And if what I'm saying is hitting home with you, it's because I know that we do this as humans because we make excuses why we can't put ourselves first. We make excuses why um, we don't do the full workout that we're supposed to. We make excuses why we eat that bad food, why we don't read the books, why we don't take time for ourselves. And I'm giving you this message to say that that time that you're taking for yourself, the commitment to it is almost more important than the act of actually doing it. Because the act of doing it says you're investing in yourself, which creates uh, urgency in who you are as a person and know that you're investing into yourself. We have to stop putting others first and we have to make sure that we're filling up our cup first. We have to make sure that we're giving ourselves the freedom for our health, for our mind, for our time that we need. And this is an everyday struggle. But if you don't do it, if you don't give yourself that time, that moment, that energy, that stress, it's just going to build up, build up, and then you're going to burst. You're going to self-sabotage. You're going to do something that you didn't mean to do because your emotions, you can't control them. So this is me telling you to put yourself first. This is me telling you to take the time that you need. And if you fell off, recommit. Create the space in your day for you to fill up your bucket first. Hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time.